Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Node.js on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So generally, there can be several different ways in which we can install Node.js on our Mac operating system. I'm going to show you the best way and the way which I prefer. And that way doesn't include the installation of Node.js from its official website. So first of all, we are going to go to our favorite browser and search for Node.js. And the first link which will appear here will be from nodejs.org. We are coming to this official Node.js website just to check which version is the latest LTS version and which is the current latest version for Node.js. So as you can see, the current LTS version is 20.11.0. LTS stands for long term support version. And the latest current version is 21.6.1. Now, as I said, I'm not going to install the Node.js from this website. So I'm not going to click on the uh, LTS uh, button or the current button. The reason for this is when you click on the release schedule here, and when you reach to this previous releases page, you can see the major Node.js version enter current release status for six months. And the LTS version is supported for 30 months. So let's say even if we install the LTS version of Node.js, you need to uh, change the version after 30 months. But generally uh, Node.js releases new feature in every uh, LTS version. So that means that we need to constantly upgrade or downgrade or change the version of uh, Node.js. And using this official way of installing Node.js doesn't allow us easily to change the version of Node.js whenever we require or switch with between the versions. So let's say you have some application which is a legacy application which requires, let's say, uh, Node.js 16, which is almost not supported right now. You can see in this release schedule. How can you switch to that uh, Node.js 16 version? And then you are developing a new project which requires the current version, which is the Node.js 20, which is the current LTS version, right? So let's see what way I prefer to install and I'm going to show you how to use that uh, way. So for this, you need to open the new tab and search for NVM. And NVM is a node version manager, which allows you to install different versions of node. And you can easily switch between those Node.js versions using this NVM. So when you search for NVM, the first link which will appear here will be from github.com forward slash NVM SH, which is the GitHub project from where we are going to install NVM. So I'm going to click on this link. And when you scroll down here, you will be able to see uh, the documentation of NVM and you will also see how you can install NVM. So for installing NVM on Mac OS or Linux or any other system, you have these two simple commands. So as we are on Mac OS, we are going to use this curl command to install uh, Node.js, but you can also use this wget command. The only prerequisite here is you need to have one of these files. So if you are using the newest version of Mac OS, it supports the ZSH, right? So when you open the terminal, so just go to your spotlight and then search for terminal here and open the terminal. And you can see at the top here, it says ZSH. That means our Mac terminal supports ZSH by default. Now, when you open the terminal for the first time, you are in your home directory. So when you do PWD here, this is the home directory uh, which opens in the terminal, which is forward slash users forward slash your username. Here you will be able to find a file called .zshrc. So when you do uh, ls space hyphen al and then press enter, you will be able to find this kind of file, which is 
dot zshrc right now if you don't find this file don't worry you can also create one if this file doesn't exist so i'm going to clear the terminal and then i'm going to show you how you can create this file so to create this file just write touch and then write dot zshrc and then press enter okay so this is the first step in which you need to create the dot zshrc file if it doesn't exist so if you're not sure just run this command which is touch space dot zshrc if dot zshrc file exists already it's not going to create the file if it doesn't exist it's going to create the new dot zshrc file now let's go to the installation page and the second command here is this one so we are going to use this uh, curl command in order to install the nvm i'm going to just click on copy here and go to the terminal and then paste this command here and then press enter which is going to install the nvm package now once this nvm package is installed the last command we require here is the source command so you can see this command in our case we are using the zsh right so you need to use this command which is source zshrc what this command does is it's going to refresh the dot zshrc in your current terminal so you can just give this command we see i'm going to press enter here and once this command is finished let's clear the terminal and then we are ready to use nvm command so once these three commands are successful just write nvm and then space hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter and it's going to give you the version of nvm which is installed on your mac operating system so now we have successfully installed nvm but how we can install the node.js version using nvm so for installing a node.js version we need to decide which version of node.js we require right now in order to get the full list of supported node version using nvm you can give this command which is nvm space ls hyphen remote so give this command and then press enter which is going to fetch the list of all the node versions which uh, are supported by nvm and you can see right now the latest lts version is 20.11.1 now if you remember when we uh, went to the official node js website this is the current lts version which is also 20.11.0 and in our terminal the current version is also 20.11.0 so this nvm version is very up to date so it's going to install the latest and greatest version which is also the newest version of node.js right so this is the current lts version which is available but we haven't yet installed this version right so to install the latest node version just write this command which is nvm install and the name of the version which is v20.11.0 so i'm going to just copy this version and paste it here and then press enter which is going to install this version so just wait for a few seconds and once this uh, version is installed you can see now the current default version for node is 20.11.0 now you will be able to use the node command so let me clear the terminal once again and now we are going to check the node version first of all so just write node space hyphen hyphen version here and you can see the current version of node is 20.11.0 this also installs the latest supported npm version which is the node package manager for node.js so i'm going to uh, check the version of that also so i'm going to just write npm space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and you can see the installed npm version on our mac operating system 
Now there is one more important command using NVM using which you can check which versions of node we have installed on our local Mac operating system. So just write NVM LS. Previously we have used NVM LS hyphen remote. So it's going to fetch the list of all supported versions. This NVM LS command is going to just give you the current installed version of Node.js. So right now you can see what is the current version which is installed and which we are using on our machine. And this is the version which is uh, used by our Mac operating system. You can also see the current stable version is also 20.11.1. If you want to install some other version, so I'm going to I'm going to once again give this NVM LS hyphen remote and let's install one more version of uh, node which is the LTS version. So let's install this previous LTS version which is version 18.19.0. So once again the drill is same just write NVM install and the version which is v18.19.0 and it's going to install that version also and once that version is installed let me uh, clear the terminal when you give NVM ls command once again you will see now you have two versions and the last installed version becomes the default version here you can see so now we have installed the 18.19 and in our local system we have 20.11.0 and 18.19.0 so when you give node space hyphen hyphen version command now you will see the current version which is available is 18.19.0 so whatever version you install last it will be set as the default version. So how you can switch between these two uh, Node.js versions, right? You just simply use NVM and then just write use and then the version name. So current version is 18.19.0. We want to switch to 20.11.0. So just uh, write that and it's going to switch the Node.js version. So now once again, when we give Node version, you can see the version is 20.11.0. So this is how this way of installing Node.js is going to help you to switch between different Node.js versions and you don't need to uninstall Node.js again and reinstall the new version again. And that's the benefit of using this kind of Node version manager. So now we have the Node installed. Let me clear the terminal once again. Now let's create a very simple Node.js server and we are going to run that using Node. So for this, let's uh, create a very simple JavaScript file. So let me go to my documents folder. You can just uh, uh, create your folder anywhere you want. Let's say I'm going to name my uh, directory as node demo and then I'm going to execute this command. This command is going to create this uh, folder in your documents folder and then I'm going to cd into my node demo uh, folder. And once you are in your uh, folder where you want to create your node.js server, you can create a very simple JavaScript file here. So I'm going to just write touch and then give any name to your JavaScript file. So I'm going to name my file as hello.js okay this touch command is used to create a file so i'm going to press enter and when i do ls here this file is created right now to open this uh, file using the mac os default graphical editor you can just write open and the name of your file which is hello.js and it's going to open this uh, file in your default editor. Now here, my default editor, because I have previously installed um, Qt Creator, it somehow opens uh, this file in uh, Qt Creator. But I just want to open this file in my Visual Studio Code editor. So I can also write code and then 
this hello.js uh, here and it's going to open my JavaScript file in my Visual Studio Code editor, right? I can write a very simple hello world program. You can find this uh, hello world server anywhere on internet. We can even go to the official website of Node.js, which is nodejs.org and then click on docs here and then click on usage and example. And then when you scroll down a little, you will be able to see this hello world uh, script for your Node.js. So I'm going to click on copy here and then just paste this uh, code here and then save my file. Once this file is saved, what this uh, script does is it's uh, going to create a very simple Node.js server which runs on localhost port 3000. And whenever we uh, just uh, give the get request here, it's going to give you the hello world output. Once this uh, file is saved, let's go to the terminal. And then to run this script, just write node and then the name of your script, which is hello.js in our case, and then press enter. And you can see it says server running at this IP address, which is localhost colon the port which is port 3000. You can uh, just uh, open your browser and then uh, just write http colon forward slash forward slash 27.0.0.1 colon 3000 on which our server is running. And when you open this URL, you can see hello world is printed here. So our node server is running fine, right? So this is how you can install Node.js on your Mac operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.